show you something. This is a 55 Chevy, and that's a smile on Jay's face. <laughs> and this is a really nice 55. This is tighter than a 10 year old car. <laughs> I don't see any air anywhere. Do they not do that anymore around here? This part? Watch out there, mister. Don't be hitting me. No, I don't see no air anymore. All right, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. We'll get back and then we'll get back and do a proper walk around. I'll see you kids later. Raise your hand if you wanna see a Survivor 55 Chevy. Let me tell you the story. Okay, I mentioned it earlier. This young lady who is 81 years old now purchased this car brand new, or not new, but she purchased it, purchased it when she was a senior in high school, her very first car in 1958. Her husband, who was kind to her after 20 some years of the car being around, did the paint job on it and um, had the interior freshened up. It still looks original. Um, it doesn't smell like an old car. And then it's been sitting in a climate controlled garage uh, forever, forever basically, and uh, maintained. So crawling under this car, it looks like it went through, it, was, it looks like a new car that went through a mud puddle because it's never really been thoroughly cleaned underneath, but it's been cleaned on the outside and polished. But um, I'm just gonna show you. So, um, he did buy some, and have stuff re-chromed and things like that. The paint job is, it's nice, it, it's, it's nice. Um, in certain lights, you can see the way the metallic lays funny. Like, when they painted it in the Chevy in the 70s, 
it's probably hard to see it um, this is a glacier blue color by the way it would have been an original color not the original color in this car this car was the lighter I'll show you it was that color so it hasn't been cleaned under here it has been over sprayed it was this lighter color those two color combinations look familiar yeah exactly what mine is this is a genuine 57 283 low compression motor non-power pack 170 horse came out of a 57 chevy that was burnt the husband changed the motor sometimes in the 60s because the spark plugs say right there if you can read 1968 they are still not brittle and they are nice and squishy um it is uh it's been touched up here and there but it's original trim original hood in fact the bottom of the car looks like this it was an undercoated car i peeled the carpets back and uh it's the original paint and primer under the carpet which is disgustingly awesome uh it has a new exhaust system on it back in the 70s with some old thrush glass packs it does have pencil tips the doors open and close let me see i don't know if you could if you could feel this in in video i want you to feel this i, I don't know how to explain it to you you can barely hear it because that's how easy it shuts both doors and the trunk and the hood shut that easy it's had brakes done it has a hundred and that one hundred thousand seven hundred and twenty nine miles and nine tenths right now so let's look inside it had the door panels redone the seats redone in this in a sort of original interior it had the kick panels and stuff replaced but this steering wheel was a hundred thousand miles it has rear speakers factory rear speakers you see that knob on the far far right by the clock rear speaker does it have the rear speaker it does original v8 original 265 three on the tree overdrive transmission and we just checked it and it's high geared and then with the overdrive it's even higher geared the tires are so much flat as you saw on the road by the way these tires have been on here since the 70s they are generic they are actual fire stones not the coker version these are gum dipped Let's see if i can find a date code on these bad boys these are not remakes these are legitimate legitimate tires There's, there's no rust on this car anywhere. I really tried picking this apart. I picked it and picked it and picked it apart. Let me tell you this. The worst part about this car, and I'll be 100% honest with you, the worst part about this car is that paint job. Its only flaw is this paint job. If that gives you any indication of the condition this car is, other than it's 100,000 original miles, the paint job and this chrome right here and the trim on it is the worst part of this car. It's that bad. It's that bad. It's too nice to cut up. I, and I would never ever say that, but I'm saying that about this one. This is too nice to cut up. I would feel really bad about putting a hole in the hood of this and putting a blower on it. I, I mean, I would still do it, but I'd feel real bad about it. Uh, remind me remind Jay this rear hubcap has to get knocked back on all the way yeah how's that they're in such good shape they've been on the car since the 70s and they're still in perfect shape she's just not gonna drive it anymore so now Jay just bought it congratulations Jay on a beautiful beautiful car Sometimes, I mean, it's just super cool. Oh yeah, that over there, in there, that's a 409 four-speed car, by the way. Oh, 
And this, in case you're wondering, three speed with overdrive equals four speed. All right, Jay's hopping in here for the first time. Cold start about a car we don't know. Well, that was uneventful. Let her warm up. There she gone. Oh, that was uneventful. Completely uneventful. Cool. Sitting out here in 30 degrees. Fire right up, no choke. Couple pumps. Look at them pencil tips just. Mm. <laughs> Dang, that's nice. I'm excited. All right, see you guys later. That was a short, this will go in the collage. Hope you guys can hear this. We're clipping down the highway at, oh, looks like 70 miles an hour. Not bad. Not bad for 66 years old. 66 years old. Yep. Not too bad. Life's good at a 55. Get out your Tri-5 and go for a drive. That's what I always say.